Well, the first one's easy for me, uh, which is the river. The river is our most charming aspect. It's why we all came here. The original Indians came here 10,000 years ago. They came here because of the river, because there was water. And in, if you've been south from here down to Laredo and Mexico, when you can go into Mexico, you, you got about 350 miles of arid desert. That's not a lot there except cactus and rattlesnakes. Well, those people had all walked across that area and then to come here where all the beautiful trees are in the water. They loved it and everybody's loved it ever since. So I would say that is the thing that I like best. The uh, second thing though is the noble spirit of San Antonio's. What the people in San Antonio did in the two big hurricanes where we got 35,000 evacuees would make you love San Antonio to the last breath, breath you draw. Uh, the way people gave their own food away uh, and took all these people in. None of them with, had any San Antonio ties. It wasn't as if they had old relations and wanted to be good to people. No, they helped those people because they were in dire need. And not all of them were overly attractive. They were all terribly poor, and what they had had been wiped out. I remember once when we were gathering food for people, I uh, had noticed uh, HEB put out donation, big donation pins, I would call them, where people could give food. But I noticed that the HEB at Zazamora and Southwest Military always had the most food of these pens. They were all over town though. But theirs was the most. Well, I was curious because that's far from being the most prosperous place in San Antonio. And so I went out, sat in the parking lot, and um, it was a typical day about like today, by the way. It was hotter, but it was misty, rainy. There was a line of cars that were at least two blocks long. Some of those cars weren't in very good shape. They looked like they needed a little repair work or maybe put in the backyard and buy a new one. They were all in line to give food to people they'd never met and probably never would meet. And I was thinking as I was watching, those people are giving food that's right off their shelves. If they didn't actually bring it from home, bought it in the store, it's food that under normal circumstances would have ended up on their shelves and now they're giving it to these people. I, I kind of, it was the beginning of a love affair as far as I was concerned with people of San Antonio. I think that there's not a better place to live as far as I'm concerned. And the other example of that, which I'm very fond of and is not, not known very much, is the Haven for Hope. Uh, there are no other havens for hopes. In the whole United States, people come and study ours all the time. But it's for the homeless, but not just in a charitable sense, because they're not just fed and put away for the night and kicked out the next morning, which is the usual way of shelters. This is one that transforms lives. We take those people, we get them off of drugs, alcohol, other problems they have, teach them a skill, Put them to work. We've had over 4,000 people that are working today full time with homes, because you have to have kept a home a year before you qualify for graduation. Uh, over 4,000 of those people who were under bridges and begging on streets, now they're income producing people. Those are the three things that come to mind. It's very satisfying. I love to see our city blossom. And so many new things have come in. Um, Kit Goldsberry, who did the Pearl, you know, brought the uh, Culinary Institute here. And suddenly from a place that pretty well had Mexican food, but not a lot else, we have chefs running all over the place that are award winners, dozens of them. So consequently, the restaurants, they also grew. We still have the best Mexican food in the state, but we have a lot else too. 
You don't have to just have Mexican food. There's some pretty high cuisine here. Also, great places have hamburgers that honestly weren't there before. So, I mean, the whole range of restaurants has meant a lot. And when you see uh, the intellectual activity, the fact that we were able to build the Performing Arts Center, where the play will be, uh, and fill it every night, or near about filling it every night, and um, just a lot of things happening. You know, the river, we were able to move that from two miles of the original U of the river, done in 1940, to 13 miles now. So it went from two to 13 miles, and you, can, you could uh, run a whole marathon on that river. Up and back, that's a marathon. Uh, so, you know, lots of things happening, and the people do give you an opportunity to do that and increase money in circulation. There are some downsides. Traffic is worse. Lines are longer. Things like that. But on the whole, San Antonio has improved a great deal, and it's very satisfying to watch it and feel you had some role in it anyway.